So you ask yourself, why is person A succeeding and person B is not succeeding? Because majority of the issues of our life are directly, not indirectly, are directly affected by ancestral powers and ancestral what? Spirits. So people said they could affect our, our life negatively or positively. Write this down. Ancestral powers and covenant have a minimal lifespan of 100 years and a maximum lifespan of 1,000 years. Let me say the name. Ancestral powers, which also translates to ancestral covenant, have a minimal lifespan of 100 years and a maximum lifespan of a thousand years. For an ancestral covenant to be renewed, something has to be done on the, on the hundredth year or every hundredth year or every one thousand years. And majority of the time, the ancestral powers are in control of how the renewal of that covenant can be done. Majority of the time, like I said, ancestral spirits are 100% in control of how the covenant will be renewed. Almost all the time, you don't even know which year the covenant is being renewed. You don't even know how it's going to be done. I will tell you, if we have 200 million people in Nigeria, we have 999 million people who cannot explain events that are happening in their lives. Now, let me tell you, every one of you watching me, take a time and look at the events of your life and tell me it has not repeated itself twice or three times. Remember your lifetime, your life, your life, events that happen in your life between 1920, 21, obviously 22. Then 22, 23, 24, everything changed. 25, it changed. Then the moment you get approaching 26 up to 27, why 27? The age 27 is a demonic, not a spiritual. The difference between demonic and spiritual is a demonic number. Spiritual power number is the number of five. Demonic number is the number of seven. So when you are in five, you need, you need two steps to enter the demonic realm. So you find out that most great talented people die between their year or number of spirituality. Either 22nd or 12th or 2nd or 20. Go online research. You see that they are dying at 22, 20, 27. And the one that is going to die at 30 years is, there, is either going to die on the 20 something of something 20 something of 20 people that have great destinies and you ask me why are people with great destiny are so sweet to die on time the reason why someone of a great destiny will die on time is because the person only has a great destiny but does not have a great spirituality to protect his destiny